Good morning guys. Today is Monday and we're starting another week of school. We are moving on in our bug unit. I think we only started like half of the first lesson. So we are doing the second half of the first lesson using the good and the beautiful. Um, and just of course adding our own little twist and flair to it. We are going to try to efficiently get through the school day because I have some other work to do and I want us to get out. We need to get out of the house. So I don't know where we're going to go, but we're going to go somewhere. So I'm trying to be super efficient. I also need to go to the grocery store. So I am trying not to let this school day linger on to just be super efficient and give them the tools that they need so that they can continue to study whatever they want to study for the rest of the day. Um, so as you can see, they got started with their language study. Right they kind of okay you are i thought you were doing german well german i already have a lot of german here so i decided to start french so i would have like it would be even okay <laughs> so as you can see with that we don't follow any type of curriculum i just kind of let them go with the flow with what they are interested in um they have been studying both french and german together and they flip flop and i let them take their own notes and oh, no do their own thing and that has been working out so far so i don't want to cramp their style by trying to you know push them to learn in any type of way or order and i'm fine with that so that's what we're doing um i'm getting ready to grab savannah we're going to do our devotions this morning we are doing so we're going to go ahead and get started with our indescribable 100 devotions about god and science and then after we make our way through this, we are going to move on to language arts because today is Monday. We'll, we'll start with language arts with Savannah and her basket. I don't think I showed you guys their baskets. Um, pretty simple. Just got a basket with all their stuff in it. I used their work boxes more as storage because we were running out of storage space. So their work boxes are currently going to be used for storing um, subject specific resources in their school baskets they just have all of their stuff they need to be able to easily access so in Savannah's school basket we just have her level K her pre-k course book her level K course book um, we're getting ready to move over into I guess what would be considered our new school year I guess it would be considered our second grade fourth grade and kindergarten year and what I've been doing hopefully I can share into more detail soon with my good and the beautiful um I guess reviews I guess so what I've been doing with the good and the beautiful is um using two levels with each child so for Savannah we've been using the pre-k level and the kindergarten level level k um so now that we're moving into the next year we're going to be doing the k level again and then the first grade level i'll just show you one of the boys because they have very similar um baskets i just found this to be a little bit easier to access than then having to go through here in their work boxes so what's going to be in their work boxes is just um a lot of different resources that are you know separated by subject which is kind of what i said <laughs> um i've just got their little globe inside of here because so a lot of times they'll just put little toys that they want to just kind of throw in here um this is their no card holder for any type of flash cards we want to make so he has the plans i have for you this is his um devotional journal i do not make him i do not force him to do this every morning but i offer it to him as an option in the morning he is my early riser some days he definitely does it and some days he opts not to but um we're trying to work on the importance of him making his own decision uh that is best for him and we kind of like like, you know straddle the fence on there so anyway <laughs> this is the plans I have for you his journal then he's got his veggie tales Bible and then these are all his composition notebooks that we do all of our notebooking in um, this is his Bible notebook reading and writing that's where we also do um, language arts and vocabulary and spelling this is his math his science history and his geography is also what he uses for language. That is what he's currently using right now. 
and then he has this curriculum comprehensive curriculum of basic skills for third grade we use a lot of the pages in here from time to time um, I just got this the brainy book of multiplication and division workbooks are hard for me to find because they have a lot of fluff in it that I don't love but this one I liked a lot I thought it was pretty straightforward and yet it had you know a few random pictures here and here here and there so I got two of these one for each boy and they could just kind of like work their way through that so I like that um, the next one I got is the third grade bound I like this one not a lot of fluff pretty straightforward so I grab that to kind of like work our way through. What I'm doing for the boys is a similar thing that I'm doing for Savannah. We are doing a combination of two different levels. He is doing the third grade level, which we had just finished. I think that, you know, I guess the lower level would be considered our core level. And then the higher level would be more of our stretch material. If you follow me for a little while, then you know kind of what I mean about stretch material. Um, then he has this ready to test grade three. I did not get the grade two. Um, I've been trying to find it, but I haven't found it just yet. But this is just something I'm gonna try to do with them on Sundays, just to, you know, get them comfortable with the paper format of answering questions um, and testing their knowledge and skill, I guess, whatever. <laughs> But we use this and we're using IXL Learning for this type of, you know, um, review of information. So, and then he's got his binder here and his art book here. So that's what's inside of his. And I have a very similar thing inside of Kendall's, who is my seven-year-old or my, I don't know. Grades are such a fluid thing around here. So, <laughs> levels. I feel like are a better fit. God bless you, babe. You. Levels are a better fit, so he would be my like second level. I, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna put that back there. So I'm going to explain in my video that's coming up about how we're using the good and the beautiful, how we are doing that. But basically, another reason why I love the good and the beautiful is because I'm able to um, blend the levels. So like I said last year, this, um, school year that we've wrapped up we were dabbling in the level two and then the level three and now we are going to redo level three again and move into level four as well so we do them simultaneously do the same thing with savannah um we were doing pre-k and kinder or level k and then now we're moving on to level k again and then first grade and I, hopefully I can get into more of that when I do my review of The Good and the Beautiful. But it's worked out super well for me because that was one of my biggest challenges in homeschool is trying to figure out the whole level thing. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I guess I'll get myself some breakfast since they're nice and settled. And by the time I get myself some breakfast, they should be ready to start with devotions for the morning. <sighs> Like I did a lot of talking so far today. <laughs> I've got my plan all laid out, you guys. Um, I copied these pages inside of my arthropods unit study because I just like to keep these nice and, I don't know, untouched. So anytime I can do that, I try to do that. So I copied the first two pages, the, fir the three pages of the um, vocabulary. So I'm getting ready to cut these out. And I'm going to use some washi tape and put them up on our board guys this this right here was the side to savannah's crib <laughs> okay so it now lives there and it's perfect for me to be able to hang things with a little bit of washi tape i still plan for school but this is a very loose plan um we are just working on addition subtraction multiplication division we do time and money and measurement on tuesday and thursday We've got devotions all across in Bible. Nothing super special, just kind of letting the Lord lead us there. Language arts, we do alternating between computer work. While the boys are doing computer work, Savannah and I will be doing our lessons together. While Savannah's doing computer work, the boys and I will be doing our lessons together. Then we move on to reading. We're finishing up the one and only Ivan today. And then we will go through some of our library books. For our unit work, we're going to go ahead and get started with our Arthur Pard unit using the good and the beautiful. We're doing um, a chart in our notebook with um, 
I think it's invertebrate, yeah, invertebrates versus vertebrates, and then insects versus arachnids. Then today is our writing day, so we are making a bug book. And then we're also going to be starting Charlotte's Web. I didn't know whether or not we were going to do candles. I think that she wanted a crystal. Wait, where are you going? Okay, you're going this way or you're going that way? Which way are you going? This way. Okay. Two of them are... Four of them are in chrysalises. They are? E, four of them are in chrysalises. Where else have you seen information about the butterfly's life cycle? Yeah. So what's the first part of the life cycle, buddy? Uh, Egg. Okay, then? Larva. And then what's next? Pupa. Okay, and then finally? It's an adult butterfly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these ones are a pupa. And, and, and four of these are a pupa. Okay. It looks like it. Only, only one has to be a pupa. Oh, see, see. It's okay. Are they gonna pull? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the time where in the past, I'd feel super flustered because Savannah wants to do a bunch of playing and I'm trying to get started with school and just, I don't know, just trying to get into that flow of the day, but I think I, I've figured it out, you know? Um, a lot of times I show you some of the worksheets and things that I print out. I found that using those things for Savannah randomly, God bless you, babe. Using those things for Savannah randomly are really helpful to me when I'm trying to just gather my rhythm in the morning and fall into school nicely. She is somewhere over there in the corner. Behind Kendall's chair. Yeah. There she is. There she is. <laughs> I kind of want her to get into our flow. So once she gets really used to like a unit book or something, maybe I'll have her read a book or something. But today I'm going to have her do this. The other day I had them color in the um had them color the bugs and that kept her busy while i got into my flow or did you know whatever small things i needed to do before we started this is perfect for her to cut um and paste inside of her notebook or something or these type of things for her because then she can do some handwriting practice and work on some um of her own like unit vocabulary words. I have a bunch of these and I generally hang them up here. And these are normally for her use. Sometimes I use them for the boys or you know for us to add to the mix, but for the most part they are for her, my four year old. <laughs> Do you wanna start by cutting these out? Uh -huh. So while I cut these out and get them up on our vocabulary board, she's going to cut these out to put inside of her notebook. Slide it right there. Go ahead, Mama. Go sit down. So that'll keep her nice and busy while I finish up what I need to do but it's still related to what we are studying so I'm gonna have the boys go ahead and start reading in the devotion and um, I'm gonna cut these out and get them up on our wall the token jar you guys I've, told, I've showed you the token jar before this is how we use it okay sometimes they have a little bit of trouble getting into the flow of things in the morning and the token jar has been everything when I grab the token jar and get it out they know I'm in business and they're gonna start receiving tokens for being cooperative and obedient in a timely manner so token jar Your body's made up of. And the like a building, those cells need some sort of glue to hold them all together. The glue for your cell is called. You see, God left his fingerprints all throughout his creation, even though we can't see the invisible qualities of God, like his awesome power and his holiness. We can see his creation and, and know he's real. Yes, yes, honey. Mm -hmm. Did you have to say it like that? Why is it? 
Okay. So the next thing I want you to do is, we're, let's do vocabulary words. Okay, so now I have these all cut out and I am just going to take my washi tape and put a piece of washi right at the top and get it up on my board. Very nice. Cutting you've been doing is excellent. Okay? First, I'm going to start with this little angel and we're going to do our level K reader. And then we're going to move on to the pre K. We are doing less than 18 again. We've done this so many times. Um, it's just a nice way for me to have a little something extra to do with her. Um, and I just print out the pages and use them or sometimes I use them on the iPad or sometimes I do them actually in the, um, in the workbook. So we're going to do less than 18 and she needs four pennies and four nickels of which I normally keep in this little jar. So I normally keep our money in this little jar here, but they've emptied out my jar quite a bit because it's normally full. <laughs> so, so I asked her where the money was. Savannah, did you go find the money? Let me see. So this one's super easy for her, but easy is nice because they feel very accomplished and it takes up more parts of my day. So, now she has all the money in her purse. So we need, what do we need? We need um, four pennies and four nickels. One, two, three. Mommy, there's a difference. Three words that make the complete. We play. Bill has a word ball. He and Liz play. Dan. Okay, the boys are still working on IXL learning while I'm finishing up schoolwork with Savannah. So this was super easy for her, but like I said, I'm fine with that. Mommy, it just gives her lots of practice. Now what I'm going to have her do is work on spelling these words. I just have a stack of sight words that she can work on. So I'm going to probably get out like 10 or so of these and then grab our little letter our little letter factory right here and let her come down here and spell out each word. After that, I am going to get her started with ABC Mouse so she can work on the computer while I switch over to the boys and do the lesson with them. So I'm down here because I'm comfortable sitting on the floor and we're going to be doing a little bit of our language arts level three and our language arts level four. So we do a combination of these two for both of them, and it's what works the best for us. So I think we're working on possessive nouns right now. I am going to try to go in order this time around because when I did this course book with the level two, I skipped all over the place. And I kind of sort of will probably skip over, all over the place <laughs> um, if I need to. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and start. Um, in order. So a bookmark where we're going to be starting today and we are right at lesson nine in possessive nouns. So um, like I said, I use what I would like to here and then I incorporate whatever else I want to incorporate along the way because it just works best for us. So I'm using IXO Learning along with this and any other things that I can help to reinforce the idea of possessive nouns. But um, I get started here. So we're gonna do possessive nouns here. 
and then in our language arts and literature like i said i'm going to try to go in order so we're going to just start with lesson one here i'm, I'm going to spell something don't son, look okay son you doing the differences between capital and capital and he is writing the district of columbia so she had her letter basket here and she okay. has completed so, all of her words so she's going to tell me so, all of her words so we got so, so. Up. okay good. Like, okay sun okay toy well where's your over toy <laughs> i didn't oh but i did there's an o for toy and then Wait here. Okay. No. O for toy. Good. Toy yellow. Okay. Sun you two. What's this one? Wood. With. With. Okay. Um. Over here. Toy. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Well. What's this one, girl? Want. 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 Um, up. Up. <laughs> Yellow. Good job. Excellent. Okay, so she's done here. So now I'm going to move her on to abcmouse.com. Okay, guys. So <laughs> it's like almost lunchtime and I still haven't eaten any breakfast. I was getting ready to grab a few chips, like multigrain chips so that I could just keep going. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to have an apple and a handful of cashews. These two apples, third a cup. Cause I know that these are pretty fattening. I got my Killing It mug. Well, it's not a mug. I got my Killing It cup. <laughs> it's so easy to make bad choices, you know? Especially when no one is watching and you can just make the bad choice and keep it moving. <laughs> So this is what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna, I got my cashews, I have my apples, and I have my water. And my workout is not gonna be in vain. What are you doing? You cute kid, you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, um, normally read aloud time is pretty successful today. It feels very chaotic. And frustrating. However, I'm gonna read After on. Bonnie tells it, just that it doesn't look like. I'm gonna read on. We're gonna finish the one and only Ivan, and then we're gonna no, start. No, not. And then we're gonna start Charlotte's Web. Get off me! No, we're not gonna. Pray for me. Pray for me. So this girl has decided that it's okay for her to put her her feet dirty, on me. Stinky. This is her foot. <laughs> yeah, this is what I have to deal with while I'm trying to do read aloud time. Rubalizer. So exciting. Now we're getting ready to move on to Charlotte's Rubalizer Web. Rubalizer Ken. Okay, so I have one little one who is having such a hard time listening while I read. So I'm going to grab one of the reference books. I'm thinking like, let's see, should I give him the this one? Either the ultimate, maybe I'll just give him a few. We'll do the Ultimate Bugopedia, the Big Book of Bugs. And maybe I'll also give him this Bug Detective. So we'll do the Bug Detective too. So I'll just take these and let him sit in his room and read. Here you go. And let me know if you find any information that you like. I think you were just getting a little bored, and that's okay. Right? I was getting a bit bored. Yeah. And so you can just sit in here for a little bit and have some quiet time and read through some of these good books. I'm trying to find some new books. Okay. Well, let me know what you find. And now I'm going to attempt to read a few pages <laughs> in Charlotte's Web. I'm heading in to see the little one. I sent him to his room for him to explore because he was getting a little bit restless. That life cycle. Okay, so this is the first life cycle. Show me the next one. The second one is st stick bugs. Okay, so then we have stick insects. And there's their life cycle. And the third life cycle is beetles. 
See, the beetle's life cycle. And what did you notice, Kendall? That every single bug in this book goes in a life cycle. Okay, and what's the life cycle like? Okay, and my fourth one. Ladybugs. Pupa, almost fully grown. Larva, mini crocodiles, adult, eggs. Okay, what's the Even earthworms go in life cycles. <laughs> Hatchling worms can live bef between four to eight years. Kim, stick bug and ladybug, I mean stick bugs and centipedes are the same. See, because Nim and the stick bug are there. Oh, they have similar, they have the same life cycle is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I'm saying, what's the next one? Snails even go with life cycles? What type of life cycle is the snail? Eggs, baby snail. As a snail grows, a shell grows too. And it's an adult. Even ants grow in, even ants grow with eggs, larvas, pupas, and adults. <laughs> Can I see your notes? So these were the notes he took. Okay, this is, these are his notes that he decided to take. Mm -hmm. So we're because gonna add these really to his. Good. It was really good. <laughs> I'm learning about ants right here. What are you learning about, Bubby? Ants, centipedes, beetles, ladybugs, flies. <laughs> okay. Butterflies. <laughs> okay, hold on. Stick bugs. Okay, so looks like this is exactly why I did not get an ant hill, because we've got plenty. Okay, stay still. Look at the bees inside their honeycomb cell. Okay, this is a honeycomb? Mm -hmm. Okay. Even bees grow in larvas, pupas, and adults. Aw, that's it. But that's pretty cool, though. I like the life cycles. Next book. <laughs>